Yo Joe! Yo Joe! Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome to G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, a 2009 Hasbro and Electronic Arts game based on the very first G.I. Joe film that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, in the comments section below, tell us your favorite G.I. Joe. It can be from any generation. And don't go anywhere because the K-Wings Let's Plays channel starts right after this. back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it's G.I. Joe time! <laughs> that was the debut of Shadow. <laughs> oh no. Stay. <sighs> yep. Shadow, our, our new kitten, is coming between us as we're trying to record this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I never understood if G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra takes place after the movie or if it takes place before, but this also features G.I. Joe characters <laughs> that weren't in the movie. So there's a lot of the uh, 13 original G.I. Joes that are in this. Mars, that's the military armaments research syndicate, has gone rogue. Scarlet! Mars some of our best weapons in the past. We can't let all that tech get in the hands of the bad guys. Joes, let me introduce you to Dr. Adam Burkhart. We'll be working with him to take Mars down. After years of being forced against my will to design Mars weaponry at their ice pack base, I'm glad to finally be free to help. Heavy duty. You look bored without anybody to shoot, Baroness. You need some reading material? What I need is already here. Okay. It's a trap! <gasps> no! It's what a the... trap! What the? Heavy duty! Oh, he's dead. Heavy duty! Hail. Damn it. Duke is angry. The Viper had this on him. What do you think it is? Ooh, I know what that is. Um, it's uh, from the old TV show. Cobra used to plant those in order to teleport stuff. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, like I was saying, this features the 13 original G.I. Joe, um, like characters that you saw in the very first season, like the miniseries from 1983, and it also has some of the 2009 G.I. Joes that were in those current IDW comic books, which I know nothing about those characters. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> and Shadow is on your lap. Yes, she is. Okay, so we have Duke and Scarlet, and we don't have the costumes. So we can't show the costumes for the very first episode, no! but we'll do the code for the second episode. So we have to have the movie costumes, unfortunately. So our first episode is codename Foundation. Uh, game difficulty set to casual, that's fine. We're, I'm cool with that. And this is a co-op game, so. He it's I'm fine. Duke. It has to be casual for me. All right. You are Scarlet. Yep, totally. Heavy duty's been captured. Battle Mars forces to rescue your missing comrade. Hmm. I mean, I like heavy duty, but I like Roadblock better. Oh, okay. And Stalker is in this, who's also um, a GI Joe commander like Duke and Scarlet, but he's non-playable. There are a lot of non-playable Joes in this, like Snowjob, Star Stalker, Dusty, things like that. Welcome to Bear's Paw Canyon, Joes. The Mars facility, codenamed Genesis, is about 20 clicks to your north. When I was held hostage and forced to work for Mars, I had access to much of their operation beyond the ice pack. This facility has been working with microscopic tech called nanomites. 
The remote location is a failsafe so that any accidents involving the metal-eating nanomites would only destroy the facility and not... All due respect, Doctor. I'm not on the mood for a history lesson right now. Stow it, Duke. That's right, stow Sir, it, Duke. I believe what Duke is saying is that we should be trying to track Heavy Duty and Baroness. The Mars facilities can wait. Fair enough, but watch that attitude, Duke. Now, go find Heavy Duty and see if you can track the Baroness while you're at it. Okay. So, I thought I would mention this too. The Baroness and Duke used to date in this universe. Before you begin the rescue op, let's check in with Stalker. Stalker, any intel on your end? We're in luck. We intercepted a transmission indicating that they're holding a prisoner at a small outpost on the other side of this ridge. So, find the outpost, find heavy duty. Looks that way. Better double time it before they move him to another location. Thanks, Stalker. Duke, you ready to move out? Always. Let's go. Wait, is his name Stalker or? No, this Duke. Okay. Stalker but... is the uh, the guy that looks nothing like Duke. I know. I was just saying. I thought she was calling him a Stalker. <sighs> wow. Running around. Move out. Okay. Look out, turrets. I actually no get a problem, ponytail Scarlet. though in this. Just point and shoot until they're all chewed into scrap. She always has a ponytail. She's yeah, Scarlet. But, but in her pic profile picture, she doesn't. Well, that's because the movie's stupid. Yeah, it's so unrealistic. You can't be running around shooting people without a ponytail. And your hair will, like, get in your face and you won't be able to see your enemies and you'll trip and fall. Like you're trying to block the road, dude. <laughs> so unrealistic. They're trying to block the road. All right, so... Taking cover behind this stuff will protect you from enemy fire. Thanks, Stalker. So, uh, by pressing X up against... There you go. Vault over cover and Thank take you. Fight straight to the enemy. Let's vault! Whee! There you go. Nice fall. Hey. I'll give you a 9.8 on the dismount. Thanks, Can Stalker. The colorful commentary, Stalker. I'm trying to work over here. I hear that. We've got a Joe to rescue. Oh, yeah, up, and... <laughs> after Stalker finishes, Duke in this universe is kind of a jerk. So... <laughs> oh, okay. He's the Chanum Tatum Duke. Yeah, Channing Tatum. Whatever. Yeah. What a weird name! As quickly as possible. I was so mad that they killed Duke nice off because the actor was a jerk. Man, it's so weird the way they just dissolve. Yeah. What happens when you're pumped full of performance? It's like he really didn't want to play him in the first place. I cried when Cartoon Duke got hurt when I was a kid. By Serpentor. Well, I mean, maybe he wanted to play him, but then he would just got. He was just like, no, I don't want to now. These Mars troopers have shields that deflect ranged attacks. Get up close and personal. Those shields won't do squat against good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Oh good, we're gonna punch people. So these guys are weak against punches, so we're gonna go punch them in the face. Press square to perform a melee attack. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! Yeah! That's fun, I like kicking him. I know, oh right? Gosh. Scarlet looks so cool. This way, Scarlet. Show you. Scar! Sorry. I Move think, out. I think it's funny the guy's name is Stalker. I know he's stalking the enemy, but it's... No, that's his code name. <gasps> I know, but it's just funny that that's what his name is. I can't hear Breaker. Okay, what are we... Manual targets. Okay. Oops, Scarlet wasn't paying attention. That's right. When, when they pop up, I don't know if your headphones are working, but they're talking. There's a lot of dialogue in this game when you reach certain points where there's dialogue. And you also have these little boxes over here that you get additional points. Out, of course we're moving out, Stalker. I think Stalker outranks Duke in this movie universe, though. This Joe checkpoint station, your progress is being recorded at this time. Players will lock in their current point total at every checkpoint. And these uh, little um, progress reports is how you unlock other G.I. Joes, which you actually have to find. Oh. Each ranking rewards a different amount of battle points. Battle points are currency used to purchase unlockable Joes. Blah blah blah. Yeah. What? Oh, nothing. Oh, I thought I got a high score. Oh, so you were. You oh, were, I did. Look, fifty-one percent. I just picked up a burst transmission of data indicating a prisoner transfer to a location just ahead of you. That's got to be heavy duty. Thanks, Breaker. Duke and I will secure the area. All right, their names are cool. Stalker. Infiltrator extraordinaire. Count on me to scurry into places nobody else can go. Or would want to. 
I love Stalker. <laughs> Man, yeah, his voice is awesome. Check it out. A functioning Mars force field. I thought those were just prototypes. Okay, so the force fields mean we can't go that way. I love breaking stuff. I love how everyone's personality in the G.I. Joe universe is so unique and... Let's see you use some of those signature moves that earned you a place on the G.I. Joe team. Yeah, their voices are so unique and different. Alright, so it. signature attacks are basically our super moves, so okay. circle. You can't win. You can't win, yet we just did, so. And the little medals that you find on the ground, those give you more, like, uh, of your signature move, as they put it. Uh-oh. That guy's uh, trouble. Signature move! Yay! Good job! There's Oops, a couple like... of generators up ahead. Take them out, and I bet the shield will go down. Oops, sorry. If you just hold it in, I think you auto-fire, don't you? Or no? Yes! <laughs> I do. I was... One more generator to go. I was clicking it over and over again. Thank you. You're welcome. I get to shoot stuff. This is fun. Oh, one more thing. The um, two button up here basically will have your character duck. Okay. It's, it's this button here. You can also hold it in to run from side to side, which sometimes come in ha handy, but I don't use it all that much. Oh, I see. Whoa, that's interesting. It works good against giant robots that we fight later. Oh, yeah, I do have a crossbow. Yep. I've always wanted a crossbow in real life. I always wanted a spear. I do, Excellent. but that tactic should work for just about anything with an external power source. Thanks, Breaker. That woke them up. Incoming. Now might be a good time for using those accelerator suits, Joe's. Oh. The accelerator suits. So basically mini Robocops. So when we Robocop! get enough power, we can activate the accelerator suit by holding triangle. The accelerator suits were from the first movie, and they were lame and removed by the time of the second movie. Because people were like, that is not G.I. Joe. <laughs> so they were like, I don't know. <laughs> the throat cancer bail voice that didn't work. Yeah. There's only one good thing about turning into the accelerator Joes. That. G.I. Joe theme. Whoa. So See, we're like <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> G.I. Joe's. Hey, Breaker, you and your tech heads have any more. Who's on where heavy duty is? Real American. Transmission we intercepted. She should have something for us soon. Just make it snappy. I don't want to have to double back to find him. Yeah, Duke is a jerk in this. <laughs> I know. Is that supposed to match his movie counterpart? I guess. Those turrets can chew up your body armor fast. Make it a priority to take them down first when clearing an area. And try to dodge their bullets instead of catching them. Ahaha, uh -huh, uh, thanks. I thought, I thought Duke was super nice in the cartoon. Duke was amazing in the cartoon. I heard in the Marvel comics in the 80s he was kind of a jerk for a while too, so... Oh, okay. You know. Makes sense, I guess. The cartoons, they always make them a little lighter. Keep your eyes out for a giant doorbell. I loved cartoon Duke, he was awesome. Mars gating technology is usually controlled by computer access panel. Look around. There should be one nearby that you can use. Roger. Now these little things, um, they help. Scanning. Nice jump! Meow. Yeah. <laughs> cat just leapt, like, right in front of us. Yep. Did we interact with it? Yeah, there we go. Mission complete! Well, actually, first checkpoint area, mission one complete. Yeah! Sweet. And I believe Shadow has the spirit of Tink. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Narrow down your target's location. What do you mean, we? I'm the one doing all the work. Stow it, Dial Tone. 
Oh, breaker and dial tone. Breaker's constant nagging. I've managed to pinpoint heavy duty. They're dating. It's somewhere beyond that gate. Okay. Hold on. I've got enemies inbound. They must no. be coming. Looks like they're trying to prevent a reunion. What about Scott? We disappoint them. Hey guys. But the classic G.I. Joe costumes are in it, so you can be Cartoon Duke and Scarlet, so we can do that. Alternate, alternate reality. Didn't you tell me she used to date Snake Eyes in the cartoon at one point? No. Yes. And then she was with Duke. I thought Snake Eyes doesn't talk at all. He used to. What? Duke! Already? I didn't even see how I died. Once I should be able to hack the system and open up the gate. It's because you're taking all the hits. I'm back here. <laughs> and we're going for That's it. Time to kick the mustard out of this crazy hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Joe. I know where you got that. The cartoon. But how? Okay, was Snake Eyes able to talk when they were dating, then? Uh... Because, like, if he wasn't able to talk and they were dating, I mean, I'm sure it could work out, but it's just, like, dates would be, like... I guess they just watch a movie in silence or well, something. it was before, you know, cell phones, so probably maybe sock puppet shows? <laughs> Actually, men Handwritten don't... Handwritten sentiments. Don't, don't girls talk more than guys anyway, so, like... <laughs> it probably wouldn't be much different than a real conversation. <laughs> the only reason I talk a lot is because I'm a Let's Player. Yeah. But when the camera's off... It's just well. like... Yeah. It's like, Luke, are you, are you okay? It's like, yeah, I'm just quiet. I'm okay. Strong silent type. I'm gonna punch you in the face! Face punch! All right, we got to destroy that satellite. Awesome. Good job, Scarlet. Yo, Joe! Wait, where did it go? There it is. No, run into it! Run into it! Oh. Ah! If you run into it, you get more points. When I, the ones are out of reach. You said run into it, and I was reacting. It was like, Whoa. and then it was like, oh. I need quicker re- See how slow my reaction time is? That's really bad. I need to get that fixed. It's like you're on a live stream. Thanks, Delayed. stalker. Ten That's seconds later. Give me a minute to hack it. Hacking what? Stay alert while dial tone works. We got bad guys incoming. You got it, tunnel rat. Over there. I fight till Joe. the fight's done. G.I. Joe is there. I stay till the fight. Baroness. We used to date. Yep, I'm gonna shoot her then. Yo, That's... Joe. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here so soon. I'm changing the rules. Watch your backs. I'm trying to remember if she was supposed to be Cover Girl in the G.I. Joe movie that turned into the Baroness, or they did something weird with the Baroness in the movie. But then again, I didn't like the G.I. Joe movies, so the live action ones. Yeah, my impression was they were terrible. Ready to fight? Why do they all look like Jax from Mortal Kombat? It's the one thing I hate about their costumes in this. Yo, Joe! Take that, Cobra Viper. Ha! It's always a pleasure to watch two Joes on foot take down a tank. You mean two Joes in a super suit take down a tank? Thanks, Stalker. Joe. Dial tone. I cracked the encryption on that terminal you activated. The good news is, I think we just rescued Heavy Duty. I'm opening the gate right now. Okay, so what's the bad news? Well, I kind of managed to gain access to their entire network for a few seconds. It looks like they've captured Ripcord. And maybe some others. They're holding them at a site flagged Genesis Detention Center. You kidding me? Okay, now I'm mad. Let's move out. I'm bringing Ripcord home. Delay that, Duke. You and Scarlet did a great job recovering heavy duty. Now I need you to fall back to the mobile pit so you can regroup and rearm. Hawk out. Okay, so Ripcord and Duke are like best friends. So, 
is not happy that Ripcord was taken in. Oh, okay. And Ripcord is like a Air Force uh, paratrooper, I believe, or army paratrooper. Yay, we got... Heavy duty. Heavy duty out. You rescued Jax. That's his name, Jax? No, I'm saying every G.I. Joe in this game looks like Jax from Mortal Kombat. Like Jax, the Jackson Riggs. He had like this, you know, the metal arms and metal chest plate and just look, I don't know. Like a cyborg. G.I. Joes aren't supposed to look like cyborgs. They're supposed to be colorful and different. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm like, not seeing any diversity in their uniforms. And wearing like cloth-like clothes instead of like giant mech suits. Well done, soldier. You successfully completed your training. Five battle points awarded. Sweet. Got some concept art too. Yeah, I can't wait to unlock my class of co costume for Scarlet. Well, we're gonna do that for our second episode. So that's that's the plan. I mean, we we'll already have it unlocked, but you you know what I mean. I want to do it now. Many heavy weapons class characters have weapons that can knock down stuff. Congratulations on completing your first mission. Heavy Duty is back in action and ready to roll. He insists on coming along for the next mission, but first you need to purchase him from the team roster. So we're gonna go to the team roster. And yep, the team roster lists unlocked active Joes, uh, stuff like that. So we need to go down to heavy duty. He is six battle points. Oh, cool! We can unlock heavy duty. Yo, Joe! Oh, <laughs> cool! They all say it. That's funny. If you press triangle, you can see a little bit of their background. So those of you that are GI Joe uh, super fans, there you go. I mean, this game's not bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but. It's a fun running gunning thing. It's like his little action figure card on the back of his action figure box or something. Totally. But anyway, uh, guys and gals, when we come back next time, Amber and I are continuing our Arctic Assault uh, with, um, I believe we have to play as Heavy Duty in the next episode. I don't remember. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with more G.I. Joe. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.